What up, y'all? Got a little chew video for y'all. Um, this one's for the uh, men size 10 and a half and below slash women. Uh, before we jump into it, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please drop a sub, like, comment, all that good stuff, and let's get this video started. Uh, I actually got a notification on this shoe and I went for it just cause the colorway looked really good. And um, like I said, this is, uh, this is young tail. Let's see here. All right, I can do this. From finish line. Uh, box might throw y'all off a little bit. It's cause it's a women's box. But, <clears throat> women's Air Jordan 1 Mid, size 12, which re, uh, is also a men's 10 and a half, and uh, colorway, gym red, white, and black. So, you tell by that colorway that this is going to be a shoe that, you know, is a good shoe to buy. Got that 23 paper in it, and then... Here's the shoe. Blah. And, uh, oh, yeah. I tell by a shoe. Like, I can already kind of dig it. They should have made this in a men's shoe. Um, the red's actually showing up a little bit brighter on my camera here than it is here in person. In person, it's actually closer to the, uh, the bulls, you know, the, the Chicago toes. Like, it's very, very, very close. Uh, you can tell it pretty much is the exact same. Um, but the white does make it seem like it's a little bit different where these just got more black on them. This has got a little bit more white. But one thing I do got to say about this is uh, the on the toe box, all the black is suede. Which I can really dig that. Like it's a nice buttery suede feel to it. And uh, you got some tumbled leather here on the, uh, for all the white uh, leather here. You got some tumbled leather. And uh, this is actually a nice shoe. Got some nice leather on it. It's not like real stiff. Um, this is a good shoe. Um, <laughs> I was actually surprised with this now that I got it in. I'm going to be selling it. You know, like a guy will probably buy this shoe. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, probably put it out there for, you know, under two bills and somebody's going to take it. Like, that's, I'm really surprised with this shoe. I really am. Um, we'll get, let's see if they got any extra shoelaces in here. That other pair. So it looks like we just got black shoelaces with this shoe. Um, this shoe, there was no particular drop date for it or anything like that. It was just, boom, you got a notification for JD Sports. And I, I po might possibly have another pair of these coming. And there was some other women's shoes that men and women wear. Uh, but one of the orders, it never, I never got a confirmation. So I don't know if that order went through. I know that I've got something pending from JD Sports. I'm going to the bank tomorrow to try to see if that got canceled or what the deal is. But, um, and then again, this come from Finish Line. So, I don't know Finish Line, you know, they, they're getting replaced by JD Sports. Some of their stores are. So, I don't know if they've been bought out. And, you know, it's showing up as a charge as JD Sports. When really, Finish Line, that's where the order's from or what the deal is, but I know if I don't get a shoe soon from JD Sports, uh, I'm gonna have my bank be, you know, calling them and seeing what the crap's going on. But uh, back to the shoe. Um, like I said, the lighting's making this look brighter. It's not really that bright over over red. It, it's dead on Chicago colorway. I think cause of all this white is making it look brighter than what it is. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into talking about everything. Like I said, as y'all can tell, we got this booty backstroke uh, suede on here. 
which I really dig that for the toe box. That's something new that I've not seen on a Jordan 1 mid to have that kind of suede patches like that. You know, this is all, all the black is suede except the shoelaces. And then uh, you got some red, which you got a little bit of lint on here. Well, it looks like we got a little glue booger here. Uh, but anyways, uh, you got red wrapping around the toe box up around the lace holes and then up here you got the little white wing logo and then the white or the red heel and like i said we got for the white we got white tumbled leather and you know this like i said is not a, a stiff leather um this, i'm telling y'all this this right here like this mid right here i think might be one that people should uh sit on invest in um because they don't normally make that many pairs of these women's editions. So even though it's a women's, like, you know, a guy could rock this and, and be perfectly fine. You know what I mean? Like, if they'd have had, like, a 12 and a half, like, I'd have probably bought it for myself. Uh, but, yeah, let's keep on talking about it. I keep getting sidetracked, y'all. Uh, I really dig this tumbled leather check. Then we got a white tongue with the Jumpman Air logo on here here's the tab behind it the insole on the inside we got a, a black insole with the white Jumpman logo black laces white sole that's one of the things that I mean it looks good on here but I wish they'd have done something a little bit different like maybe uh, black bottom on this thing or you know, done like the other ones where the midsole's white and then the bottom sole is black. I think that would have, uh, you know, added a nice touch to this shoe. But either way, it's a clean shoe, you know. Um, <clears throat> I think this is one of these shoes that most people's going to be like, oh, you know, I never saw that. And the value's just going to creep up, creep up because it's a Chicago colorway. They're hitting us with several Chicago colorways. And everybody knows the Chicago colorways all does good. You know, the, every one of them does. So you cannot go wrong with this. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, if you don't make it this far in the video, please drop a sub, like, comment, hit that notification bell. Um, I do got a couple of Supreme orders coming in over the next two days. It's not nothing crazy, but a couple packages. And uh, I got another shoe, which I, like I said in my last video, I spin out on it. And I've actually got, my boss has got one here, but we're not going to even get into that. Uh, comment below. Let me know what shoe y'all think it is. I will tell y'all this. It's 500 plus. So y'all comment below. Let me know what shoe y'all think it is that costs $500. And it's from this year. So just think of any shoes that's going for $500 plus that came out this year. And comment below. Let me know. Uh what what y'all's what y'all think it is but um yeah i'll do a little quick 360 on this shoe it's not gonna be a long video um but i just want to put out a little video on this shoe to give y'all a little peek at it and uh just in case if y'all are able to pick some up because like i said y'all have seen the chicago colorways whether it's the white heel the chicago toe I told y'all, that's going to be a $300 shoe, and they're already jumping over. They're already, you know, over $200. You know, the Chicago Toe, depending on where you get it from, it's already hit for close to three. So, you know, I said it's going to be a $300, possibly even $400. You give it six, seven months from now, like that's going to be, that Chicago Toe definitely will be a $400 shoe. It's, it's just a given. Like, it's just a given. So I could definitely see these hitting for the 250 mark. You know what I'm saying? Definitely 250. You know, you have to sit on them if you get a chance to buy some pairs up. Because like I said, uh, USD is uh, 115. You're probably looking at 125 for this shoe. So, you know, if you could sit on it for six to eight months and it hits even 200. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're, you're doing good. So, uh. Like I said, I, I see this and doing good. 
it'd be a good little investment shoe for sure. So like I said, I, they don't normally make as many pairs for women as they do men, so this is going to be that much more limited because they made a lot of pairs of those Chicago Toes and stuff. They didn't make that many pairs of this. I only seen like one or two places even get this shoe. So unless they release a lot more somewhere, I don't know, but so far I've only seen one. Well, JD Sports slash Finish Line both got them. So, and that they're all owned as one place. So, you know, they're under the same umbrella. So therefore, you know, I don't know if this was a JD slash Finish Line exclusive or what the deal is, but you know, so far not that many pairs of these has been out, put out. So comment below, let me know what y'all think about this shoe. We're gonna do a quick 360. And uh, like I said, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please drop a sub, like, comment, hit that notification bell. Like I said, for those that, uh, you know, hit the notification bell <clears throat> and was up on my shock drop video, my video was on. These uh, Fire Red 4s, they released on the sneakers app that following day. You could go for grade school and men's. And we, you know, I got this shoe a month before release date. So, like I said, you got to stay on it. Hit that notification bell. That's very important. Very important. And, uh... <clears throat> But we're going to hit this 360 real quick, and then I'm going to end this video off, and I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. But uh, here we go. Like I said, as y'all can tell, all the black is suede. Well, you can tell by the fuzzies on it. Like, it's definitely a nice buttery suede. Like I said, hope y'all enjoyed the video. <clears throat> like I said, hit that like button. Comment below. Let me know what y'all think about the shoe. Would y'all cop, drop, or flip it? You know, or wait a minute. What was we saying? Uh... Drip, flip, or skip? Would y'all drip it? Would you wear it? Would you flip it, resell it, or skip it? You just ain't having it. Comment below. Let me know what y'all think. And, uh, you know, much love and peace out.